Hi folks. This video is about the Middle Kingdom. That's it kids, the big country in Asia, Kami Lake, China. A little background before I get into the little bitty article that appeared in the Dallas Morning News. There's a region in western China known as Xinjiang, primarily inhabited by Uyghurs who are ethically they're not ethnically Han Chinese and their religion is Muslim, Islamic. Now over the centuries, ownership uh, has changed hands. Autonomy, no self-autonomy, that's all been going back and forth. But when the Kamis took over Kami land, they asserted authority into the region and they incentivized ethnic Han Chinese to move into the region. It's been rather successful to the point that the Uyghurs in their own region are now a minority people. And the Kami's suppressing their religion, suppressing their language, suppressing their culture. Because that's what Kami's do, kids. They suppress. About two years ago, there was massive riots in Xinjiang with the Uyghurs, and thousands were murdered, either by authorities or Han Chinese mobs. Now, whether it's justified in that, I posted videos about that and you can search it out some years ago. This past July, in the Xinjiang area, the Uyghurs were demonstrating in front of a police station. And the police, being the tolerant communists that they are, opened fire with live ammunition on the crowd, killing a number of Uyghurs. That's what they did. In cold blood, they murdered them. So now this article here is reported that recently the Uyghurs have crossed the line from freedom fighters to terrorists. Previously, they've always targeted government installations, police stations for bombings. And they learned them by attending uh, terrorist training camps in Muslim countries. Pakistan being one of them. So now, according to this article, they placed a bomb in a Chinese restaurant, killing a number of Han Chinese citizens. They commandeered a truck, running into a mob of Han Chinese citizens, running them over and killing them. The mob grabs one of them out of the truck and murders them. The others start slashing on the Han Chinese and ran off. The police catch up with four of them and murdered them, executed them immediately on the spot. So now we have here a situation where the Kami authorities are saying these atrocities, this murdering of the Han Chinese civilians was done by the Uyghurs. <clears throat> we don't have the Uyghurs to ask them about it because those involved supposedly are now murdered. There's no independent journalist that can verify this because the Kami authorities harass independent journalists who go into the region. So the question is, <clears throat> why would the Kami stage such a thing and frame the Uyghurs? Well, because there's a couple of hundred thousand Uyghurs they want to forcibly move into another area by demolishing their homes. So this incident may give them impetus to do that. They've also been critical of Pakistan with those training camps and teaching them how to make bombs against the infrastructure or government authorities in China. So now they're telling the trapped Pakistanians it's because of you, the civilians were murdered here. Now let me tell you something. I've defended the Uyghurs in the past, calling them freedom fighters, because they never targeted civilians that I was aware of. If this is true, you Uyghurs who did this now cross the line from freedom fighter to terrorist. And you are to be despised, as any terrorist around the world should be despised and shunned by civilized people. But I question if this really happened by the Uyghurs, if it was not a setup, if it was not a plant by the communist authorities, because we have no independent verification. To the point, to the communist authorities, I would be willing to come to Xinjiang, <laughs> the Xinjiang province with my entourage at your expense for an independent verification and reporting the honest truth. Their kids is a trip that will never take place. Sorry folks, you cannot trust communists and it's because of that mistrust of them we now have to question what really took place with the Uyghurs in Xinjiang. Remember, better dead 
than red. We'll see you folks. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Ha 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 ha!